Welcome to part three of the unit one ISU video tutorials. In the first part, we declared our variables. In the second video, we created our first user input and user confirmation. Now, remember that I have said in the past that if you have a part of the program that runs and you need virtually the identical information, rather than retyping everything and perhaps missing um, a concatenation or brackets or quotes, take the part that you know that works, copy it, and now we're going to paste it. What we need to be very, very conscious of is that we make all of the changes to both the variables and the text that we are asking, um, or the text that the user is going to see. So you'll notice that I've changed toonies to loonies in this first um, text window write line. I've changed the L in the text window read, and I need to make one more change and change this from toonies to loonies. Now what we can do is run the program and see what happens. So I entered 18 toonies the first time. Please enter the number of loonies. So I am going to enter 45 and you'll see that this works. You would now continue doing this for the other denominations of coins.